but at least my personal experience as I walk into different outlets of any brand, the people change and it's very inconsistent. To some level it seems to me while we do fancy marketing and we invest money on a whole bunch of things, I mean, I'm very curious, you know, what is happening at that front? What are we doing to, you know, get the right people, build that talent and retain them? And I don't see that in the stores today. It's consistently the experience is dropping. Except maybe very traditional retail with this family, or, you know, you know the person. So the examples you mentioned are like, you know, very, very positive. But how are you tackling that challenge with scale? I'll answer that with an example. And, uh it's a negative example for us. Uh, <coughs> uh, recently, uh, most of the brands have come back with Paragraph schemes. And uh, Apple went in and came up with the Paragraph scheme for students. So while a normal customer could get 7,000 rupees off on his iPhone 4 purchase, uh, the Paragraph scheme, and a student could have got 7,500 rupees off just by showing an icon. Now uh, there's this customer who walks into our store. And he says, I want a student Paragraph of 7,500 rupees uh, The associate at our store, I think that customer, uh, sir, are you a student who can answer, sir? Then this offer is not available for you. End of conversation. This customer walks out. And uh, walks into a neighboring store, which is also selling mobile phones. And goes and asks the same question. Uh, is that offer applicable for me? I am not a student. <coughs> no sir, I cannot give you that offer because not your student. However, I have a 7,000 rupees value offer for you. Very simple conversation. The schemes were existing at both the stores. But the person at my store was not able to give this extra bit of information to the customer. So there it boils down to two, two things. Number one and uh, all of you agree is consistently and dedicatedly training these teams at the front end, that how important it is to not even let a single customer who is walking into the store go without you able to fully satisfy him. So a customer walking into the store is an asset. You rightly said, we spend billions and billions of times of money to get this customer walking into the store. Because I went to a business, I cannot go to a store other than an online store. A physical store, I cannot go to customers. I am only dependent on the customer who is walking into my store. So training at the front end and uh, he as a brand invests a lot of in the training. Second is an inherent disadvantage with our modern retail industry. I need to promote people. I need to show these people growth. So if a person is doing a fantastic job as a sales person, I cannot retain him if he continues to remain in the sales person. I need to upgrade him to a store manager. And being a national change, it is quite possible that if I upgrade him to a store manager, I will move him to a different store or give him a bigger store because probably that's what the person is more capable of handling. At the risk of alienating, actually letting some customers who have been coming to that store for that particular associate. So it is very important that given this disadvantage, and this is not the disadvantage of army run stores, because they are typically the person stays with life. <coughs> so training, showing a growth part to your associates, and again, the moment there is a vacuum or there is a person moving out, ensuring that amount of time is spent on training that particular store again, to maintain that same level of service is what I think. Is there a benchmark what type of you know, 